531 now and we're working to learn right now if charges will be filed in the death of a 15 month old girl after police say her mother left her in the PNG parking lot in Mason where she worked. Investigators say it looks like it was an accident and nine on your side spoke with a local woman who knows exactly what that mother is going. Well, through. Catherine Brenda Slaby's two year old daughter died after Slaby accidentally left her in the car 10 years ago and last night she gave a comment to Julie O'Neill who worked on that story 10 years ago. She said it keeps happening. It can't be a function of bad parenting. There's so much research that it's a function of our brain and memory. It always happens when there is a change in routine. That's from Brenda Slaby last night. Now her daughter Cecilia's death happened August 23rd in 2007. That's 10 years exactly before yesterday's incident. Now Slaby was an assistant principal in Claremont County where the car was parked. The story attracted national attention and was even a topic on the Oprah Winfrey show. I sat in a ball and I prayed. I prayed harder than I've ever prayed in my life. But you knew she was gone. But I knew she was gone. Now, the prosecutor in that case decided not to pursue charges. So this is new this morning. Now an organization actually reached out to nine on your side to let you know how often this type of tragedy happens. Catherine. Well, according to the group kids and cars, 35 kids across the US have died just this year from being left in hot cars. There's a bill actually being considered in Congress right now, and the whole idea is to help parents remember their kids in the back seat. If this passes, the Hot Cars Act of 2017 would require car makers to install a reminder system in all new models. Some of them have them now, and what that would do is alert drivers of unattended kids in the car.